How's it chilling, Cruise Babies? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Gold Airsoft AK-47. That's what it looks like in the front. And this is what it looks like on the other side. The disassembly process for most Airsoft AKs is the exact same. So I'm going to go ahead and link the disassembly video in the description if you don't know how to disassemble it. If you do know how to disassemble it, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and pause here. These are all the supplies that you'll need, and I'll show pictures in a second. These are just the tools that I used. You don't need all of these, but it's nice to have a couple extras. These are the paints that I used. Um, they, they work quite well. You don't have to use the exact same ones if you don't want to, though. And these are a couple additional items that will be very helpful. For number eight, you only need that if it's going to rain or it's too cold to keep your items drying outside overnight. Now we get to step one of this process. What you want to do here is just disassemble your gun carefully, make sure nothing breaks. And you also want to separate all the pieces that you will not be painting and keep them organized so you know which goes where. I don't have a picture for this part of the process, but you got to sand your gun so the paint will stick better. Don't don't over sand it so the paint is completely off in the first place, but don't under sand it so there's basically just a couple of small scratches. You want to get it nice and good, and then you want to clean it off really well so no debris gets stuck under the paint. Clean it off really well. For this step, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I learned from my mistakes. Um, basically, you just need to be really, really patient when you're taping up the gun. Take your time and use as much precision as possible to get every little detail down correctly. Okay, so for the taping process, I can't show you exactly how it was taped um, through a video because I never filmed a video of what it, you know, close-ups of everything that I taped, which I should have. But basically, I took the inside of here. I didn't do a great job. As you can see, there's a little bit of gold in there. It's not too bad, but basically you want to make sure it's actually clean in here. So actually take your time. Be patient. This whole process is about being patient with your gun, okay? Because if little scrapes of that fall down, they could get in the gearbox or the hop-up or on your battery, whatever. And they could get places that they really shouldn't be and you could damage your gun. And in places like this, I taped up the selector switch because that would just be peeling all the time. So this is just black as well as a spring in there. The um, Obviously the trigger and the gearbox are up, uh, out of the gun, so you don't need to worry about those pieces. The grip um, is also out. Basically, I just took the front barrel assembly, the receiver, and the dust cover. Those are the only pieces I painted. I did paint these pieces here. Actually, just this piece. This piece is all one. Um, and you wanna make sure you tape the insides of those pieces where this part goes in because then it'll be go flakes there. And the way I taped it, I put a bag over it, right? But I didn't tape underneath the bag, so a little bit of gold paint got through there. So you want to tape the surface underneath the bag and then wrap the bag over it just so you don't have to tape the whole thing because that would be annoying. And then there's uh, screws in there, as you've seen in the disassembly video if you went and watched that, that you need to tape over the little holes that the screws go in. You don't need to tape over the holes that these screws go in. I mean, yeah, you just don't. And then you should tape the inside of the magwell here. You don't have to, I suppose, if your magazine fits, but there is always a risk of it scraping off, getting onto the mag here and even inside the magazine, and you, you don't want that. Then you need to tape the front barrel here, obviously, so no, so no paint gets in. Basically, just as long as you paint anything that you don't want tape getting into that could possibly damage your gun, you'll be absolutely fine. Or that pieces go into, so like you um, want to maybe tape the inside of here. I didn't, I didn't, and it was fine. This little piece goes around the outer barrel. Um, but that's basically all you need to know about taping. Just be very, very thorough. Cover every millimeter. And be, take your time because look at that. See that? Right there, there's a, a big black splotch. I was hoping to keep the inside of the sight here black, just so it stood out more, but um, I didn't tape it properly, so I learned that you need to just, you need to take your time. You need to take your time and make it perfect. 
um, because not only will it look better, it'll also last a lot longer if you take your time and don't rush it like a lot of gun painting videos tell you to do. Also going back to when you put a bag over it just to save time and you need to take that spot, you need to take this spot really well as well. And also if you can see there's a little bit of black, so take your time here, cut out all the ex excess tape with an X-Acto knife or a, a box cut or something like that, something really sharp and pointy so you can get all of it out. This is the most crucial part of this whole process. If you mess this up, that's an ouchie. But basically what you want to do is actually read the directions on the back of your spray paint can. I'm not gonna tell you what to do because they're all individually unique. Um, so just read the directions on the back of those and follow those to an absolute T, okay? Do exactly what they say. And this is another huge part of this take your time take your time take your time take your time okay you need to wait probably two hours before you reapply a new coat i waited 30 minutes to an hour usually and it caused a couple problems if you want it to be perfect wait at least an hour before you apply a second third or fourth coat and i applied four coats just to make sure it was nice Nice and smooth, nice and full. Now you just need to let the gold coat dry for 24 hours, that way it's real nice and sturdy for when you apply the clear coat. Let it dry, be patient. Now for step six, you need to apply the clear coat, apply it in the same way you apply the gold coat, just read the directions on the can first to make sure you're applying it correctly. And I used the hammered uh, clear coat, which made it textured. So there's the before and after of what the texture looks like. If you use a normal gloss coat, it'll probably be shinier, maybe. Um, and once you're done with that, all you have to do is let your clear coat dry for two to three days, which is step seven. And now the final step, you're finally done with this project. You can finally assemble your gold AK. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you later.